Malaysian McDonald's. What? I'm excited about this one. And look, they got the national dish. Nasi Lamak. Oh my God, they got a Ramadan menu. No way. That is sick. They got fried chicken. Okay. And this here is the Nasi Lamak McDonald. Look at that. Super cool, right? So that's basically just a fried chicken. I don't know why I got this fried chicken, but it's a fried chicken, rice, a little egg, and anchovies. Okay, that is hella good, but that is definitely like diabetes in a cup. What's up, guys? Welcome back to a beautiful day here in Kuala Lumpur. Today, I'm talking to you guys from, well, on top of a scooter. I'm actually driving a scooter right now to a special place. We're heading to McDonald's, and you guys might be like, yo, Chris, why the hell are we going to McDonald's if you're in Malaysia? And, well, there's an answer to that. We're actually going there right now because, well, Malaysia McDonald's has supposedly one of the best McDonald's in the world. They have a lot of menu items that you don't typically find in McDonald's around the world, and I want to share that with you guys. Now, you might be like, Chris, why does your voice sound a little bit, a little bit screwed up? Well, I lost my voice a few days ago, and it's barely coming back. I'm on like day five, so I've wasted a complete week here in Malaysia of not filming any videos. And I said, you know what, I gotta get out there today and make something. So yeah, welcome to Kuala Lumpur. This is the Bukit Bintang area. It is super beautiful, super modern, extremely nice. I've been here for the last week, and I haven't been bored at all. It's also very, very centric, so you can get to the KLCC Towers, KLCC Park, all that good stuff in a short distance. Oh man, the brakes on my left hand. Hold on, guys. Okay. All right, now we slowed back down. I thought I was gonna die for a second. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off the camera now, and I'll see you guys once we make it to McDonald's because, yeah, this is risky business. Actually, you know what? Slow down, slow down. All right, all right, there we go. Now we're back in action. This here is actually like the pub street. I'll be showing you guys this here on my nightlife video in the next few days. Right now it's closed, it's dead completely. But at night, man, this place is super active. Everything is popping off. No, good vibes. All right, guys, enough, enough with the small talk. I'll see you guys right now once we pull up to the McDonald's because we're right around the corner now. But yeah, everything is, very much slow. All right guys, so that scooter was only six ringgit, roughly a dollar fifty for 10 minutes. I've actually been using those scooters to get around the entire city because I'm one of those people that sweats a lot and here it is scorching, especially in the middle of the day. That's actually why you see a lot of the streets empty, a lot of the stuff closed. In this area, there's actually a food market that comes to life in the evenings. But yeah, during the day, people tend to stay away from the streets, stay off the streets because it's a little too hot. So yeah, if you're coming to Kuala Lumpur, I definitely recommend renting the Beam scooters because, man, they're super nice. And the breeze as you're cruising is just amazing. Well, right now we are approaching the corner where the McDonald's is. Look, we got the shoe repair guys out this morning. There's a money exchange here for all of you guys that are going to be coming to Kuala Lumpur. It's actually right in front of the Pavilion Mall. Looks like they're doing some gardening. Oh man, it's scorching. Ooh. And here we go, guys. McDonald's. Malaysian McDonald's. What? I'm excited about this one. And look, they got the national dish. Nasi Lamak. All right. Let's see if we can actually use this one. Oh, we can. All right. So we're going to go start order. Here in Asia, you actually have to use only the kiosk to order. Eat in. All right, let's see what kind of stuff they have. Oh my God, they got a Ramadan menu. No way. That is sick. Okay, so yeah, look. They got Nasi Lamak. All kinds of like pitas, caramel and cheese pie. What other things I've never seen before? A menu rama make egg. What is this? A soup? Burgers. 
Oh man. So the burgers are pretty standard. Wow, they got fried chicken. Okay. Nasi lamak and berber. Wow, amazing. So porridge, nasi lamak. Yo, all kinds of cool stuff. So that's actually made some decisions. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna go with. I think we have to try the um, one of these porridge, the small berber I am. We're gonna take one of those. Um, no, a la carte. Wow, you can make it a menu. So I got one of those little porridge things. I think I'm actually gonna get um, one of these nasi lamak menus. Should I get a drink? You know what? I'm gonna actually get a drink too. Oh my god, they got lychee berry drink? Let's do that. Okay. Yo, this is fun. Let me know if you guys are finding a lot of interest in the videos. I've actually never made a McDonald's video, but McDonald's is different everywhere in the world, and I think I'm gonna start. All right, so I'm not gonna actually get a burger because all the burgers are the same. The Rama McEgg. I think I should try that. Rama McEgg. Oh, it's sold out? Is that what I'm seeing? Cancel item. Oh, it's not, it's not breakfast anymore, so that's a breakfast item. Okay, promotions. And you know what? Maybe we'll try the... Let's try one of these little pitas. How about that? I'm gonna take the... I don't know what any of these mean. Oh, beef fold over with garlic sauce? Yeah, let's do that one. Um, no, a la carte. Add to order. Okay, what is our total at? 35? Now let's see what else we can put on here that might be slightly different. Let's get some fried chicken. How about that? Ooh. Ooh. Now the hard part, should I get the spicy or the regular? You know what? I think I'm gonna go, oh, two piece mix. There we go. You read my mind. Amazing. All right guys, well, I think we, we made some good decisions. Actually, let's see what kind of desserts they have. Any Malaysian desserts? Corn, a cup of corn? No way, I'm gonna get that. A medium corn. Have you ever seen corn at McDonald's? All right. Okay, next. No thanks. Amazing. No thanks. Confirm my order. All right, guys. I'll see you upstairs once the order comes on out. All right, guys. So my meal just came out, and I'm not going to lie. This is massive. I probably shouldn't have ordered so much food, but I wanted to show you guys absolutely everything. So check this out. This here is the corn cup. I've actually took the lid off to take some pictures, but look at that. It looks pretty interesting, right? Then right here we have, what is this? Like some sort of porridge soup. I'm not really sure. Let's, let's see. Yeah, like a porridge soup. We got some fried chicken. This here is the lychee drink, which actually looks really appetizing. And then this here is the nasi lamak McDonald. Look at that. Super cool, right? So that's basically just a fried chicken. I don't know why I got this fried chicken, but it's a fried chicken, rice, a little egg, and anchovies and cucumbers. Now over here, what do we have over here? Oh my God, the beef fold over. I forgot I even ordered this, the pita. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm actually gonna go with the beef fold over first because I think it's like the easiest to eat. And yeah, it looks literally just like a pita, guys. And the meat inside looks like it's just like the same meat that would be found inside of a double cheeseburger. It has lettuce, tomato. Yeah, not bad. Basically a burger inside of a pita. All right, I'm really excited about this pita. It looks really nice, actually. So yeah, looks like there's like some uh, mayonnaise sweet sauce inside. Okay guys, the beef fold over, yo, this is fire. It tastes like a burger, exactly like a burger, but with pita bread, and the sauce inside is actually like a, it's kind of like tzatziki. No, it's hella good, yo. Damn, I want to keep eating that one, actually. It's super good. Now, let's actually dive on into the lychee drink. And I'm trying so hard not to be annoying because this McDonald's is actually quite full. A lot of people always say like, 
oh, only Americans like McDonald's, but guys, that is completely false. I've been to over 70 countries now, and everywhere in the world that I go to, except Jamaica, because Jamaica doesn't have a McDonald's, people love McDonald's. The locals love it, and one of the reasons why McDonald's is super successful is because they adapt their marketing and their menu depending on the region of the world that they're in. Super cool. So, here's the lychee drink. You guys don't know what a lychee is. It's um, it's like a fruit found in like tropical countries. Okay, that is hella good, but that is definitely like diabetes in a cup. That is all sugar, guys. Damn, that is bomb, bro. I'm definitely drinking that whole thing. All right. Now, I think up next, we should go with the porridge. I'm actually gonna grab the big spoon for this porridge. And it looks like it, I don't know, it looks like it might have like an oatmeal texture to it. Let's dive on it. Mm, okay. Definitely not like a oatmeal texture. It has more of a of a rice texture to it. You can taste that they put some mint leaves, some chili in there, some onion. It has a real chicken like broth taste to it. I like it. Oh, there is chunks of chicken in there. Yeah, that is definitely chicken. No. I'm impressed. This is delicious. Oh, and look at this, guys. They even give it to you with salt and pepper. What is this? Consume within two hours. This must be like spicy chili sauce. Consume within two hours. Let's actually put some of this inside of the, the porridge. I think that's what it's for. Open up. Ooh. No, this isn't spicy sauce. This is the sauce that goes on the Nasi Lamak. Yep, that is exactly it. So you know what? Let's actually dive on in to the Nasi Lamak. Now the Nasi Lamak is actually the typical dish here in Malaysia. And Solo was actually telling me yesterday that Nasi stands for the rice. And I'm not sure what the Lamak stands for. Who knows? But look at this dish, guys. It looks incredible. That looks like the egg that would come like in a McMuffin, right? And then we got the anchovies over here, cucumber, rice, and the fried chicken. Let's just put this like right here. And here in Asia and McDonald's, they always have chili sauce. Something that we just don't have where we come from, so it's super cool. All right, there's my fork, here's my fork. All right. Now, the best way to do this, let me show you guys actually, is to just like mix the rice, the eggs too, a little bit of everything all together. I'm trying to stay away from the anchovies though because I'm just not a big fan, but you know what? To give it a proper review, we have to give it all a little mix with the anchovies too and the chicken, but how do I get the chicken? Actually, I'm just gonna use my hand. So here in Malaysia, they actually, a lot of people use their hand to eat it's like a, um, it's part of the culture and they say that you actually get a lot more flavor when you use your hand. So, put that there. All right, now we got ourselves a, a proper bite. Oh man, look at this. Oh man, what a disaster. Okay, there we go. My first nasi lamak bite at McDonald's here in Kuala Lumpur. Guys, I'm truly impressed. Like the quality of the chicken, the quality of the beef that I just had, it's amazing, it's so good. Mm. No, nasi lemak is one of the greatest dishes I've ever had in my life. And obviously the McDonald's nasi lemak is, it's not the greatest, you can definitely um, taste that you're at like McDonald's when you're eating the nasi lemak from here, but 
if you have nasi lemak outside at a small little local stand at a local restaurant, guys, you're gonna absolutely love it. It is amazing. But this one's good too. Man, surprisingly, everything is good. Now, what makes the nasi lemak special is that the rice is actually cooked with coconut milk. And you can definitely taste the coconut in there and the spiciness from that sauce. You gotta be very careful. Man, McDonald's in Malaysia doesn't mix. All of this is way going. I gotta choose which one I'm actually gonna destroy once I put the camera down because everything is too good. But I think this Nazi Lamak is the win-win for me. Now, we also have ourselves a little cup of corn here. This is something I've never seen at a McDonald's before anywhere in the world. Now in Thailand, they actually have corn Thai. Um, where else have I seen a corn dish? I think that's it. In Thailand, they have corn pie, but here they have a cup of corn, kind of like a an esquite in Mexico, but without all of the mayonnaise, the cream, the butter. No, there's definitely some butter in there. There we go. McDonald's corn. You ever had McDonald's corn before? Mmm. What can I say? It tastes like corn, you know? And I'm actually not a big fan of corn. Like, I can eat it when it's like this. But when it's on the cob, I don't do it too much anymore. Especially if I'm out eating in a public. Because then I just walk around with that stuff all up in my teeth. And from what I've been told, this has no nutritional value at all. It's good, though. It is good. Wow, no seriously, everything off this menu is impressive. This nasi lemak is, it's good. It's obviously not, um, like I mentioned, a nasi lemak dish that you, that you would find outside. Obviously, a local authentic nasi lemak is 100% better, but it's good, it would do. If you're looking for like a Western comfort food, and you wanna go into a place that you like recognize that you know, McDonald's, great choice. You can come on in here and then also dabble in a couple of the like the local taste as well. Oh no. Awesome meal, awesome meal. Now let me know exactly how you eat this meal with your hands. Like, I don't do it because I don't want to feel like, well, I've been doing it in this video, but I don't tend to do it too often because I don't want to look like a complete slob because there is an actual proper way to do it. Like, you gotta cup your hand a certain way, scoop, eat. If I do it, I just go. <laughs> I go hard, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now, you know what? I don't actually have to try the regular chicken because I've already had the regular chicken. Let's try the spicy though. Look at this, spicy fried chicken at McDonald's. Insane. It smells so good too. No, oh, man. Some good chicken, y'all. Mmm. No, this is fire, y'all. Okay. Coming to McDonald's was definitely a great decision. Let me know down in the comment section which one of these dishes looks the most appetizing to you. Which one of these would you be dying to try? And also, if you've had McDonald's in other parts of the world, please let me know where um, or which McDonald's you have found to be the most interesting. Now, this pita I've actually seen many times before when I was backpacking through Europe in uh, places like Greece and in the Balkan countries, you can find uh, pitas like this and the fried chicken is also a staple in McDonald's. I know we don't have it in the US, but Everywhere in the world, you can find fried chicken at McDonald's. I feel like outside of the U.S., this corn is definitely um, only 
found here in Malaysia. I don't think you can find it anywhere else. If I'm wrong though, let me know down below. The Nasi Lamak, amazing. This lychee drink, so damn good. And this little rice porridge thing looks and smells amazing and tastes even better. This right here, I would say, is the only thing off of this whole plate that doesn't even give you any McDonald's feel at all. Actually, let me show you guys one more time what this looks like from the top. And yeah, guys, well, that's going to wrap up our little McDonald's adventure. You know what? I'm going to um, probably just take a few more bites of this nasi lemak, one more bite of the pita, and then I'll take it to go give it to somebody out there and yeah i'll see you guys outside once I get this video to catch you guys up and also i forgot to mention look at this view this view is amazing so as i mentioned if you come to kuala lumpur you want to try mcdonald's just type in the pavilion mall it's located diagonal from the mall all right i'm gonna eat a little bit see you outside all right guys well that's gonna be the end of our little mcdonald's adventure here in kuala Lumpur. hopefully tomorrow my voice comes back so that i can get back out and start creating some more videos interacting with the locals however i had to do what i had to do and um, i wanted to out the video for you guys so that you didn't go too long without another one so i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys thought about those dishes let me know what you guys thought about mcdonald's and let me know what other Malaysian foods? Obviously, that was like American Malaysian food, I guess. But let me know what other Malaysian dishes I have to try before leaving this beautiful country. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon for another one. Later, guys. You're